Hey, what's up guys? Adam here and this is RAID 1 Explained. So previously we looked at the definition of RAID and we talked about RAID 0. So in this video we're going to be focusing mainly on RAID 1. So similar to RAID 0, RAID 1 is going to use two separate drives, whether it be two hard disk drives or two SSDs. So I'm going to use the same example that I used in the RAID 0 explanation. So I want two people writing all the numbers between 0 to 100, but this time I want person A writing all the numbers from 0 to 100 and I want person B writing all the numbers from 0 to 100. I don't want them to share the work between them. And that is pretty much how RAID 1 is going to work. It's going to say I want to transfer over a one gigabyte video file. It's going to make two copies of the video file itself, two complete copies that is. So the keyword that was used in RAID 0 is going to be the term stripes. Now the, rate, the, t the key term that's going to be used in RAID 1 is going to be mirrored. So everything that is reflected in one drive is going to be reflected in the other drive. Okay, so you're probably thinking to yourself, what are the pros of using RAID 1 as opposed to using RAID 0? So RAID 1, because it makes two complete backups of each piece of data, if one drive goes out and fails on you, you're still going to have the complete data copy on the second drive or vice versa. So you're not going to lose any um, data on the system whatsoever. And it's very, very rare that both drives will fail at the same time. So the main uh, advantage or the main pro of using RAID 1 is going to be its high reliability and especially if you use it with SSD that is just going to completely shoot up the reliability straight through the sky. So you're probably thinking to yourself okay then what are the cons of using RAID 1? So using RAID 1 you're not going to see an increase in performance or speed because the, the system is going to be making two copies of each piece of data so you're not going to see a decrease in speed you're not going to see an increase in speed so it's not really it depends on what you're going to be doing it's not going to be uh, a disadvantage for some people especially not going to be a disadvantage for those who are going to be using mission critical systems like the cia and you know mi5 and nasa they're really going to be wanting to use these reliable systems such as raid one and beyond not really concerned about the speed of transfer like raid zero or the consumer their mainly focus their primary focus is going to be on the reliability and security of their data so depending on how you go ahead and set up RAID 1, you'll either see RAID 1 as one complete drive on your system and the other drive will be stored away in a separate location or you can see the drives as two copies. You'll see the first drive and you'll see the first drive again with the word copy next to it and everything that's going to be in the first drive is going to be mirrored in the second drive. So now that's pretty much the comparison between RAID 0 and RAID 1. If you want me to go ahead and explain the more detailed versions of RAID such as RAID 5 and RAID 10 because RAID 1 and RAID 0 are more the consumer grade versions of RAID but RAID 5 and RAID 10 are more the you know the, the mission critical systems that are going to be using mass amounts of data. If you want me to go ahead and explain those definitely be sure to leave me a comment down below and I'd be happy to go ahead and make that video for you. Anyway guys that's pretty much the videos on RAID 1 and RAID 0. Thank you for watching. Take care and of course I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Thank you for watching and of course bye for now.